Hello YouTube, Just Silver here, and today we'll be back with another Microsoft Flight Simulator video, and I hope you guys really do enjoy it. But before we even get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss out when I upload a video, and hit that notification bell. And it's loading right now, so I'll see you when we get into the game. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know like what takes like the game so like long to open because I pressed it once and it's not opening should have already been open it's already been open <coughs> can you guys hear me good probably because my thing says you can hear me good so yeah good yeah haha <laughs> It's not going up yet. <laughs> what happened here? What has happened here? <laughs> Come on. Alright, there we go. It's on it. Awesome. Fantastic. Ouch. I just hit my thing on the desk by an accident. Well, I'll see you guys when we load into the loading screen. Alrighty. We're in the loading screen. Hopefully you can see it good. loading right now this is gonna be a premiere so what is up what is up guys go down in the chat and comment done okay comment done like done what like like done and that will tell me in my mind that you're done liking subscribing and hitting the notification bell should be loading us in there, so enjoy the intro of this beautiful game called Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, so there's 85 airport data updates. There's a Lucian. Wow, there's a lot of new stuff. Ah, I already saw this part. It's called Landings and Iconic Flights. I don't need to keep seeing it. Well, like I said in my previous premiere, I said that I have this Airbus yoke. We're going to be using that again, and I'm feeling confident today. So we're going to be using the Cessna. All right, we're going to be using Cessna, and we're going to be trying to land it again, and then we're going to move on to the takeoff for the Cessna, then we're going to go to the takeoff for the... No. Okay, no, alright, I'm gonna take off for the Cessna, because we didn't take off last episode, so, yeah, and then after we'll do a full entire flight. Alright, here we go, that's what I like to talk about. So, let's go ahead and do this. And let's just do the landing again. It's just like a classic, another episode of the same episode, but we're doing different things. So I'll see you guys when it loads on. Goodbye.
There we go! Let's go ahead and land this plane, you guys. Go ahead and put it to My first instructor used to say, the like best that. part of flying Bump is landing up. in one piece. The man was a terminal like pessimist, but he wasn't right. wrong. Nice Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have Just to complete keep it the standard traffic no pattern. Right now. And I've already set us up in landing configuration. At 65 knots, with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number is moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. Add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. Rip if it looks like the number's wrong. moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're right. too high. Very good. It looks like we're coming You'll in. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent. But you'll we're also need to push forward and trip right to change your attitude runway. and maintain the Once same speed. Get like 10 feet or 5 feet over the runway. Down. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. The glide slope Once we pass the threshold, really shift thing. your aim point to the end of the runway. Then, pull back oh, slightly on the yoke to go. aim the nose just above it. Landings can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice. After all, all right, that's now what we're here we're for, right? Oh. oh my god, okay. You guys want to try that again? Let's try that again. again. No! Let's do the takeoff now. Let's do the takeoff now and then we do the land. I love the Cessnas. I love them. They're like easy to fly more than the Airbus, even though I have an Airbus yoke. <laughs> because on the Airbus you have to pull up, then you have to go down, then you have to stay down, pushing your yoke all the way forward, then you have to press your brakes while doing it, and it's the South of Luga. You know what? Let's try the landing again. Let's try it again. Let's try the landing again. Because why not? I mean, do what they did with the Cessna, and I mean, we'll be fine. So, I'll see you when we get into the loading. Ow. I like this music, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, uh-huh. Alright. 
Um, so, I have to break it down to you. Now, this is way off topic for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I have made a video yesterday on Liberty County. Now, I didn't want to upload it because I soon to We're notice my mic approach was not plugged door. in. So you could not thrust hear is going me, to handle but power like, management. I mean, some of my, all my so our main objective is to control like the pitch to mic, stay on the so glide I mean, slope. Like, why would it be a problem? The and beauty of fly-by-wire like, right, means just you wait only need to use the stick when you want to make attitude adjustments. Anytime you return the stick to the center point, the aircraft will keep to the correct attitude. As a premier, All right, as like long as the auto thrust is uh, on, the speed will be automatically I managed. No the throttle should stay on the climb And then content. I notice I talk in Just focus on the videos, trajectory to begin. I don't. Remember, fly by the so, wire doesn't need a lot of corrective input. Yeah, Just I'm keep making small adjustments to pitch and roll as necessary. See the screw on the dash above the PFD? Use that as a guideline to keep us centered on the runway. The will be over. It's Look just to the, the right of the runway at the four colored lights it's called Pappy. They'll give feedback to stay within a three degree glide slope all the way down. Is that geared down? We're a little too far out to read the colors yet, but when we're closer, down, the four lights will in, tell us how we're doing. A really good just if keep the Pappy down. shows two white eight, lights eight, and two eight. reds, then we're on target. Four white lights means we're too high. Four red means That's we're too low. That's where this plane, baby. At 20 feet, to pull back on the stick to kiss the runway, but be careful to avoid a tail strike. low a little bit now. I'm getting closer to the runway. I just love this game, man. This game is awesome. Now on my Xbox, I have in a way different room. I was just live streaming on Twitch. Um, and I was live streaming on GTA. And I was a tryhard and I was killing players. But now I had to go all the way out and then have to get on my computer just to make a premiere for my uh, PC. Which is alright and all, but I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm not lazy, I'm not saying I'm lazy. I it might be, but. Alright, well, let's start getting low to the runway now. Threshold. Now shift your focus down to the end of the runway. Listen for the computer calling out retard, and then set thrust to idle. Stick to neutral. Spoilers and auto brakes are activated. I had an emergency landing. And we may really need to check the runway for That was for like actually a really touchdown. hard landing. But we've but arrived. We to do it. Keep practicing. Y'all want to do takeoff? No, let's not do takeoff. 
Um, we could do take off as a Cessna though. I have not tried take off as a Cessna. Let's try that. Then after that, I think we'll uh, we'll do one more flight with the airliner, and then that's where we're gonna wrap it up. You wanna do solo flight? Nah, 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 nah. Let's do takeoff. I'm actually surprised we're doing this one. <laughs> like awesomely because I'm using an Airbus yoke for this, not a uh a uh, a uh, Cessna yoke. I'm using an Airbus yoke. <laughs> if there was a 737, yo boy will be flying in that like crazy. Alright, here we go. Ready for takeoff. There's like an that. old saying I like. There's a mile of road will take you a mile. Like. A mile, a mile of runway of will take you will anywhere. Take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few right. key points to remember. First, we always take off into the take wind. Take off to the wind. Which won't which be won't an be issue a on a calm day like today. Uh, whatever. Second, before we Joystick enter a runway, we always make me. sure it's clear. One. Oh! This joystick run run? This? 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 Which is joy? This? Uh, this? Everything looks yes. good. No cross traffic. Oh, oh I have to taxi so you into can position. Oh my god. The rudder well, pedals go should make back steering the plane the pretty plane. easy. Joystick button seven. I think that is the second one. This one. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. That was Apply full right. power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. There we go. Full power. And we just take it off now. And we go. Use up. your rudders to stay on the center line oh, and keep pushing power until line. you reach 55 knots. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. Top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and Damn. set a good climb attitude. Uh, oh, and the air bus would be positive rate and you would focus on zero. flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots. We'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Climb to 50,000 feet, maintaining 
75 knots. 55 knots. Right now we are at 51 feet. What is going on? What was that game all about? Like what? All right, we gotta make emergency landing tower. Uh, we got a failure on the engine. We need requested to make an emergency landing. Now. Well, I need to pass it, so whatever. Gotta climb up. Man, that was like so scary, bro. Oh, yes. oh my god. Alright, we're pulling up. Oh, we had to. We had to. <laughs> oh my god, we had to. Well, we're gonna do one more takeoff on the Airbus. And then that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. And yeah. Actually, let's do a landing challenge. And do it famous. And let's go the John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. So we have to land there, which is probably gonna be impossible. And yeah, let's just go ahead and head. There's 160 knots here. I'll see my knots outside of the plane. And then 140 when we get closer and we'll stay 140 and then flare at the bottom. And ba ba boo ba 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 boo ba 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 And yeah, this is gonna be the last landing challenge. And then I'm ending the video. This is actually the longest I've ever been on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Ooh. Ah. I don't know what is actually taking this so long. So long. It's like the person or the developer had to take a quick seizure real quick and come back. Like, what? Why did my yoke just take all my planes straight down? like the strong winds bro pull up just a little bit
That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh my god. And flare it. We fled the aircraft. Landing gear. 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 Oh no, 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 no. That's where we're gonna end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is just Silver, and we will see you. All well, hold on. We'll see you all next video. Goodbye.